Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach, and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. So with that, let's get you out to Southern California as standing by at Stub Hub Stadium. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, football, of course, back in L.A. and back at StubHub Center in Carson, California. The scene here in Carson a moment ago, both teams making their way out of the tunnel. Phillip Rivers, now the main man here in L.A., as his Chargers will match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. We focus in on Phillip Rivers, 15th year in the league, his 13th year as a starter and the all-time passing leader in Charger history. And Phillip Rivers has had just about all the accolades you can have in the NFL. He's put up big numbers. He's made multiple Pro Bowls. But what he wants more than anything at least one Super Bowl appearance before his career is over. Pro Justin Houston in on the tackle. Chargers offensive starters here. And when you think about the receivers, last year they take Mike Williams seventh overall. Only 11 catches. Hoping for more production out of him. They need it too because they have to continue to take pressure off of Keenan Allen, who plays like an all pro every time you see him hit the field. And if Mike Williams can give them what they expect, remember he was the seventh pick of the draft when he came out. That would be a huge deal for them. And they will need him early because they open up against Kansas City at home. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he's got some space here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a Charger first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I'll let you know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. three-yard line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Defensive starters for Kansas City. After all he's been through, I want to talk about Eric Berry, and it was really tough for any NFL fan to see him go down the opener in New England last year. But one thing we know about him, he's resilient. This is a man who's beat cancer to come back and play at an all-pro level. And why? He can cover in the deep zones, he drops down in the box in the run game, and he can blitz the quarterback. You name it, Eric Berry can do it. Third down, Rivers. He's going to lock one deep left side here. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. 
pass interference, defense. Thought they were going to force a fourth first down. down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. to the 29. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Try to throw here. Rivers toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and now it's third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On third down, Rivers. But oh, stays out. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Chris Jones able to finally get him for a loss of 16. And it's going to lead to a fourth down. Like the footwork back there, and I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. To punt it away on fourth down, here's Drew Kayser. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. So here are the Chiefs now backed up for their first drive. You get a look at Patrick Mahomes ready to take the reins for the Kansas City Chiefs. Started last year in Week 17, but now he's the guy in 2018. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see how they bring him along. You know, a lot of people say, well, do you have some training wheels on a young quarterback? But Patrick Mahomes is at his best. He's a little bit more of a freewheeling guy who can use his big arm to get the ball downfield. I suspect the Chiefs are going to lean towards letting him go. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Hey, go Green, 90. Ah. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And that was a good run. This is only one of nine guys of over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. They'll run again with Hunt. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now on first down. 
And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on there. Heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. First down, going up top, and it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Ware takes the give from Mahomes. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Time quickly to look at the Chargers' defense. Coming up with two straight Pro Bowls is Casey Hayward, who entered the league, and many saw him as strictly a nickel cornerback, but he can do everything. Play inside, play outside. Seven interceptions he had led the league in 2016, added four more in 2017, with 22 passes broken up, which led the AFC. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Breaks a tackle. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Travis Benjamin deep for the Chargers. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Chargers. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Set, 380, 380. Rivers now to throw on first down. Oh, he took the pin one-handed. What a grab. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. On second down, they'll run with Gordon, and not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Three down, three down. Delta! They 
just got that playoff. Now Rivers. And able to find Green. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A big 30-yard play on third. I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Chris Jones on the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. To throw his rivers. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Mike Williams, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. Go, he was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. Rivers to Benjamin. Good for the Charger first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Going for it all. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. Play fake, Rivers. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. But enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. They go play action. Rivers. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Bowman. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Start defensively. They hung in there. Ten play drive. 
but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Now it's Sturgis converted on the field goal. Now he'll send this one away on the kickoff. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and ten, just shy of the 30. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. For just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. field logo a nice run there nine yards and it'll be second down but you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short what do you think early shot here i like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me i want to take that shot early and loosen things up elsewhere they tried to throw on second down unsuccessful now it's third and one there we go now green 39 green 39. on third down that's him and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play so just a lone field goal in this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score. We'll come back to Southern California after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. Ah! 
They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Throwing on second down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 41 yards. And the Chiefs are in for six. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. now to kick this one away. Here's Desmond King on the return. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Set! I brought 80! First down, Rivers. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. six-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Yeah. 
Second down, Rivers. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he's brought down. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. now 7 of 10 here in this first half and he's got a first and 10 So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And his pass incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Rivers again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll throw again. Rivers sets up the screen to Golden. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. Good contain. No gain on the screen. And it'll bring up fourth down. I know you've got a baseball background, right? A little bit. Started yeah. minor league ball. Yeah, you did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It Tells starts... you whether it goes or not, yeah. Yeah, whether the play's on or not. How about the indicators offensive linemen give when they're getting ready to run a screen pass? And if those get red, <laughs> well, we just saw that there, didn't we? No gain. No gain. Deciphered it and finished the playoff. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession there, and you'd have to say it's not like him to come up short on a kick like that. Yeah, and it's real easy for me to say this, but anything in the 40 to 49-yard range should be pretty automatic for an NFL kicker, especially in terms of at least getting it there. So you're right. That is a surprise that this will come up short. And out come the Chiefs now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. After the missed kick, they're in really good position. They'll begin this drive at the 39 now. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. 
They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. It's Melvin Ingram on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate Dalvin alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He's going to air one out. That's caught inside the 20. And he'll get it down deep into Los Angeles territory. Mahomes fighting Hill for a big play. 45 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. A first trip to the red zone for KC. They come up first and 10 at the 16. There we go now. Blue 45. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. Oh, it spins again. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 12 more yards there and another first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Butker on for the PAT. Point after up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Five plays there on that drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. now to kick this one away. To return it now, here's King. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here now, a look at Melvin Gordon. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. 
Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about no, it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Rivers on first down. Green's got it over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. First and ten, Rivers. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first-half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. This is Hunt, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. to throw on second down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver, and it's third down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. For a good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. False start, offense. And that'll set him back five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And incomplete, a disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And the kick by Butker is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17 to three. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go, and last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh. they only gave up the field yeah. goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive, a little more pep in their step, because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. now on second down try to get it to Williams but it's intercepted picked off near the 29 and he will score touchdown Kansas City part of what we just saw that's a great example of a team that was really amped up they were playing so well yet they didn't get over excited and have a bust on defense that gave up a big play instead they created their own big play with a pick six this one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Butker now to add the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Back to it after the pick six. Rivers. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. As we inch closer to the regular season, I'm just peering down at some of the preseason records. Right now, Ravens 4-0, Bengals, Panthers, Cardinals, all 3-0. I guess my question is, what stock do you put in these preseason records? You know, the easy answer is nothing because <laughs> the preseason doesn't really matter. But some organizations do put more stock in it than others. Some of them want to win every preseason game. Others don't worry about that at all. Intel has told me 
that only one team has won the Super Bowl after going 0-4 in the preseason. And that was in a strike year, I believe, when Washington did it. So for the most part, you just don't want to go winless in the preseason. But remember this, the Browns and the Lions both went 4-0 preseasons, then they went 0-16 in the regular season. Speaking of winless teams, Eagles and Falcons both winless right now could be Super Bowl contenders. I still think that they're going to be, whether they go winless or not. Third and short yardage, Rivers. And he's got a man open, that's Allen. Allen hit, he wants the football. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Rivers now 11 of 17 passing thus far. He's got his guys a first and 10. Ready. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 37-yard line. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what you really can't hide what you're doing and I think that right there he knew right away where the blitz was coming from where his primary guy was going to be and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game I was just going to ask you that wasn't the primary target and he's so good at that isn't he I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage knew where the pressure was going to come from and said ah, I know how to beat that and that's what he did Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Set. Block 15. Behind. Behind. Again, it's Rivers. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. In for the score. And the Chargers are able to close the gap just a bit. A sensational one-handed grab in the end zone for the score. Looked like you at the Davis Turkey Bowl over here in the backyard in Orlando, Florida. Oh, uh, you're so kind. That's definitely in my mind. But how about this? They always tell guys going after the ball, the receivers especially, you got to have a single-minded obsession to go get it. How about going up with a single hand and making that happen? I don't know if it gets much better than what we just saw there. Sturgis for the extra point, and that cuts the lead to 24-10. A drive that time of six plays, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles.
Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. down and he's got his receiver that's Sammy Watkins and all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown Sammy Watkins 74 yards and the Chiefs add on to their lead and correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. on for the PAT. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. Butker now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now trotting back out with the rest of his offense and makes the big tight end. And we peek at some of his work from this game where he's nearing 100 yards. And haven't we gotten pretty close in this game nowadays in the NFL to almost taking labels off of the tight end position. These guys now can be the number one option in an offense, and that never used to be the case. So now how do you even match up with them? Cornerback, safety, linebacker, all three will have deficiencies against the best tight ends in the game. receiver that'll bring up second down well you know Charles just thinking back it was around this time a year ago Hurricane Harvey was devastating the Houston area and other areas there in southeast Texas one year later though JJ Watts Foundation announced it had raised and given 41.6 million dollars in the last calendar year that's phenomenal and he was the NFL man of the year last season and rightly so for what he did and got his man complete and he's going to be marked down deep into Kansas City territory. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play.
first down. Rivers. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. Well, that touchdown certainly helps. But they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Now Sturgis on to add the extra point. Sturgis adds the PAT, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And how about the start so far, Charles? Three first-half touchdown passes. And that's how you generate excitement on a team. Keep your offense moving at a really high level. And it's also how you establish leadership by playing that well. Three touchdown passes, that's the way to lead. Now he's just open for number four. One after now from Sturgis. Sturgis for the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded at the goal line. Yet a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half.
They'll begin the drive with Hunt. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We want to remind you that new this year in regular season games, I'll take you around the NFL, give you stats and scores from games in progress, as well as look back at games that have already been completed. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. And a trio of touchdown passes so far. They've got the lead as well. All is good in their football world at this point. And it's so much fun for our colleagues, right? Think about our producer, our director, everyone putting together these shots. Wouldn't you love to be in the truck right now and hear him calling for it? Give me that one, give me that one, give me that one. And we just saw three beautiful touchdown passes. Now he's looking for four. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. Here we go now. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Now a play fake here on first down. Incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll bring up second down. But with the incompletion there, gives us time to hit on the retirement Charles of Eric Decker. First played for the Broncos, Jets, and Titans was with the Patriots this preseason, but now he's going to step aside. I think he had a fantastic career because look at it this way. Getting 1,000 yards in one season for a receiver, that's a career for most people. He did it three times. Best year in Denver in 2013. 87 catches, almost 1,300 yards and 11 touchdowns. Congratulations on a wonderful career, Eric Decker. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Draymond James with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, 
My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. They run it here with Gordon. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Well, Brandon, so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. and taken down. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. The Chargers on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 14. Play fake to Gordon, now Rivers. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. Justin Houston in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Drew Kayser now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is brought in at the 21. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw and a good one. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Four down, four down. Here we go. Blue 45. <laughs> now Mahomes throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight unable to find anyone open the Chiefs on third down two for five to this point this is third and four Ready, three. from the gun it's Mahomes and it's complete to Kelsey and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory that'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game it's a first down well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, 
he finds a way to pick up a first down. Mahomes now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Melvin Ingram in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here we go. Three, huh? They'll run it here with Hunt. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on run downs. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 16. Here we go. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And it is incomplete. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Now they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here and a tight game after punting last time see if they can get something going on this drive as they head to the field now with a game this close you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now but they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play so Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line They'll try and get the ground game going. Here's Gordon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. Boy, well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 39-yard line. Six. On the counter, here's Gordon. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Set, set, 
Second down, Rivers. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Reggie Raglan in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. this entire game the way they've been pushed around six sacks given up in this one here's Drew Kayser now as he's on to punt for LA This is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Mahomes now on first down. And incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot, but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Play, green. <laughs> play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and ten. Brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Mahomes to the former Ram, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. This is Hunt. Credit the tackle to Brandon Meebane. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Again with Hunt. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. It's Jaleel Adai who brings him down. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. The Chiefs on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This time it's third and three. Taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Here we go. Green, nice. Oh. They run with Hunt. And an alley to run. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. And just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here we go now. Blue 45. <laughs> On play action, it's Mahomes. Looking long for Thomas. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Three. Someone Three. moved. Flag is Three. out. That's going to be five yards. And that will drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud Offense. crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. And that will be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the fall start. Green, green, 90. <laughs> Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Being strong up the middle is imperative. I don't care what your sport, but in football, when you've got a D tackle who can contribute not only to occupying bodies, but also making plays on the ball carrier, that's when you have the cornerstone of a solid run defense. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And that's incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, 
you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Drew Kayser now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. This is taken at the 23. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Second down, looking middle, and it's incomplete. D'Anthony Thomas, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action, now it's Mahomes. He sets to fire deep. This is caught inside the 15. And he'll be taken down deep into Charger territory. A big play there for KC. 54 yards. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Hey, three, Hunt gets three, it on the draw from the homes. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. On second down, here's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man.
So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run with Hunt, and he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great effort there, taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. It's like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Butker now to add the extra point. The extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So the drive there took six plays. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off, as he did so with a touchdown run. now to kick this one away to return it now here's King and a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30 yard line The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10, right at the 30. On first and 10, Rivers throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target, and now it's second down. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Let's lock the team. A second down throw for Rivers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. On third down, Rivers. Throw left side complete. It's Gordon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there, a 22. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Rivers now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. A first down throw here for Rivers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Rivers on second and ten. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Gordon. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. 
Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. again throwing over the middle and it's incomplete he was looking for mike williams that time third down here i guess they're in a situation now fourth quarter where they're forced to take some chances but i don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take and that one could very easily have been intercepted and if it does get picked off that could possibly seal this one The Chargers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and forever. Check out, check out, check out. 180. Again, it's Rivers. Caught left side, Williams. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. comes Kansas City and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22 Now a play fake here on first down. They'll leave it for Hunt, complete. No gain, and it's second down. Sometime in this fourth quarter, someone on defense got to step up and force a turnover. the completed pass but for no gain stopped right at the line so it's second and ten hey, here we go now green nine, 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 nine. working from the gun Mahomes the tight end Kelsey has it over the middle and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line eight yards on the completion but now they face third down Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. Here it's third and two. Here we go now. Green, nine, nine. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Hunt. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, 
tell you what they're looking for and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. First down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Field and into Charger territory. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? Now. You're Move taking charge. <laughs> They'll toss it to Hunt. <laughs> And he'll get it down here to the 43. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive now. guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. On second down, Williams. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we've got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They go play action here on first down. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 20, 10, 5. And they will finally get to him. But a great return has set him up. First and goal at the 5. Well, there you go. You said someone was going to have to step up, force a turnover. That's exactly what they needed. And now they need to capitalize, get this back to a one-score game. From there, anything can happen. The Charger offense making their way back out there. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. 
every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. Rivers now on second down. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. Holding offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. The holding penalty, that puts them in an unenviable spot here as they try again on third and goal. Hot! 380! And hot! Third and goal for Rivers. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin fourth quarter. You're going. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Desperation time. Rivers on fourth down. And that is incomplete. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for the strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. The Chiefs' offense now making their way back onto the field. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, with they about 95% chance of Oh, yeah, it? I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. Yeah, and knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming oh, after oh. the ball more than they are the person. They're going to knock it free. Here's home. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. out of the two-minute warning and here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining the defense they got a little bit of a breather now they're back and set as we resume play They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Here we go now. Green, uh -huh. Green. Uh -huh. This is Hunt. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Thank you. 
Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. Charger football here as they take over. Phillip Rivers now gears up to lead the offense on the field. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, he, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. Rivers now to throw on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. Throwing Rivers. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And brought down but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. Rivers on first down. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. They'll throw again, Rivers. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you gotta put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Three out, three out. Three out. To the air again here, Rivers. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Hey. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Three down, three down. Three down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Right back for Allen. This time he finds him complete. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. False start, offense. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Second down throw for Rivers. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make it third down. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. False start, offense. So that'll back him up five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Play fake to Gordon, now Rivers. That's going to be caught. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Travis Benjamin 
23 yards for the touchdown. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't got, feel right. Exactly. Sturgis adds the PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. That time, a nine-play drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. So with just a few ticks left, they need a miracle. And the Chiefs have got it. And with that, they should have a victory as well. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Well, I know at points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Southern California.